Hello YouTubers, this is The Good Nurse and i um, making this video to show you a project that I made, I just finished and share with you some of the items that I got this weekend. What you're looking at right here is a photo album that I made out of uh, the soap box, you know, the individual bars of soap. Uh, this is something that I had wanted to try, I've been seeing a lot of people doing this on YouTube and I decided to give it a try. All of the stuff that I have here is uh, stuff that I had in my stash. Since I've been home I've been just looking at the things that I have and I'm just amassing so many items and in relation to the amount of finished projects I turn out it's just <laughs> the ratio is off. So um, this is made with uh, things that I had in my stash already and some scrap paper. The paper came from the stack die cuts with a view garden party and the bloom stack. I had some of those left over. And the other papers came from and, the, and a lot of the embellishments came from a scrapbooking kit that I bought on Amazon. Um, I forget the name of it, but it's from me and my big ideas. And so I added some other things that I had in my stash and put it together. So this is seven pages all together, two covers and the inside pages. And when I do my minis, I do whatever it is I'm going to do for the pages of the book, but I like to get two uh, pretty much a solid colors to put on the front of the back of the um, of the album, just so that you know what the front is and what the and what the inside is. So uh, this is the front. This is the garden party, and same same thing for the back. And I bound it with my zutter. Um, I'm going to keep this. So um, I didn't uh, go crazy with the embellishments or any charms or anything like that on the side. Um, seven pages. Each one has a tag that I use from my paper collection. And I haven't decorated any of them yet. This tag came from the Tim Holtz the uh, alterations die that's the the large tag and ornate plates so just to make it fit for this I just uh, trim the ends off a bit and as you can see I put um, an adage ticket there because I have because I have quite a few and I haven't been using them and these embellishments came out of that uh, scrapbooking kit as well as this. These papers here in the center came out of the scrapbooking kit and um, each one has a tag. Some of them I put pull tabs on and some like this. This came from the bloom stack, the tag. The, um, the Tim Holtz die has uh, reinforcements that come out on the top for your tag. So I just uh, put these on the top. This is a Recollections flower, also on the covers, a Recollections flower. That's the one that came in a canister that they were clear, that Michaels was clearancing out a while back. And um, I just put a, a little embellishment in the front to make the center of the, of the flower. What I'm noticing with the Recollections and the Prima that when you get the flowers either you don't have any stamens inside or they don't give you enough. These two little hearts here I made this from that uh, little sticker maker that uh, I showed in a previous video. More embellishments out that scrapbooking stack and here's another a dodge ticket there goes one of the plates that came with that Tim Holtz die recollections flower and a little bling 
on the page. So that's that. Also, yesterday I went into uh, this. I live in, in Brooklyn, in New York, and I don't know about uh, any other state, but in New York we have this store called Savathon, and it's uh, it's a hobby store. It's a lot. It's a it's a lot like Michael's, but a kind of scaled down version because we all know things in Michael's can get pretty pricey at times. This is a more scaled down version. And um, I went in there looking for lace. I felt, I, like, I felt like I needed some. So I went in there and just my luck, they were clearing out their lace. So I just wanted to show you some of what I got. So this is lace. The regular, the regular price, this was a... Uh, 149 actually per yard and I hope you can see it clearly this is peach and it's got some um, kind of rainbow on the ends then I got some nice pink ones here with the little pearls inlaid I got some turquoise this one actually looks reversible to me. I want to hold it up so you can see it. In the front there, you can see the actual sequins, but on the back, there aren't any sequins there, but it looks like you could, um, you know, lay it down on that side. And here's some more lace. It's ruffled. As you guys can figure out, I like pink. I also got some of these butterflies. So we're 99 cents a pack. I got that one and I got that one. I got some little I got some more embellishments for that baby mini that I'm working on. And They're selling these uh, photo albums. I wanted to show you this also. I'm sure everybody's familiar with the basil paper. But I hadn't seen these before, even in Michael's. And they were selling these two for $3. This is a photo album here. This is all paper. It's got a ribbon closure. And this is a photo frame. This, as you can see, the paper is slipping out. So you can put a picture in here and the photo album has all these pages here. I'm going to bring it in close but I'm not sure if you can see the texture yet. It looks like it's already been embossed on one side anyway. It's got some pages here. and. It's got it's got the back portion here. It could probably uh, there isn't a, a a frame in here, but you could probably fold this out. So I thought this was really cute, and I thought it was pretty good. Uh, two for three dollars. I never even saw it in Michaels. So I got two in that size, and they they smell like they have them scented for some reason. They have them uh, smelling like flowers. So I got that. And I got this size, which is pretty much the same setup. The first one that I showed you, let me see if they put it here, is a five by seven. And this size here, it just says mega, it doesn't say what size the paper is. But it gives you some ideas on how to decorate it in the back. So I'm looking forward to playing, playing with that. And that was in one store that I went to. I went to another one looking for more lace. And they were selling it. Uh, I guess they were clearancing it out. They were selling these large reels. 
um, the five for fifteen dollars so I got this one this is gray with some silver in it and this one says 10 yards I got these got some more stamens for my flowers these are black pearlescent and I thought these were really cute I bought some of these before that I use when I do the uh, fondant flowers for my cake Here's another one. Trying to look for the beginning of it so I can show you. I guess I'll have to do it like this. Please excuse my fingers. This is a uh, sort of ivory colored. I like this one and this says 15 yards. And I got two of these to put on the baby mini that I'm working and I don't know why I'm showing it to you inside the plastic so all the glare. This is it. It's a uh, strip is about an inch. And this says okay doesn't say how many yards is on this one but I thought this was really cute so I got two reels of that and this one says eight yards and it was originally 849 and this one is beaded this one's wrapped too tight for me to show you and it makes noise so they were also clearancing these out these were two for a dollar these are the little clips that you can put on um, your clothing and so forth it's a little clip so um, I got I got two of these to stick on the front of a photo album or something and then I also got this this is a compact and a lipstick holder and I thought it would be fun to paint this or cover it with paper or something And uh, once I do that, once I figure out what I'm going to do with that, I'll display it. I might match it up with that um, photo album I just showed you. Make a little uh, sort of altered vanity set, I guess. Anyway, that's the last thing I have to show you. And thanks for watching. And uh, I've gotten some new subscribers lately. And thank you, everyone. I appreciate the support. Thanks for watching.